Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I built my horizontal beehive, long lane shot, long hive, however you call it, they're all the same thing. Um, behind me I have four, uh, four hives I've already built and I've changed some things and I have a final design that I'm going to use going forward. As I go and cut, uh, cut my dimensions, I'll tell you what the dimensions are and why I'm using those basically. And I'm also going to do this in two parts. First part is going to be uh, the uh, body, high body. And then the next part is, part is going to be the top, the cover, and just little things that come along with it. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have a 2 by 12 by 8 feet um, pine. So what we're going to do here is actually go ahead and cut this in two pieces at 45 inches each. Don't forget the safety. All right, another piece is done. So that's step one, get two pieces, 45 inch each. All right, step two, we're gonna carve a groove here, about one and one quarter inches, at least that's what I use. So that's where the frames are gonna lay on top of. So, the way I do this, I use my table saw. Um, and as you can see, this is about inch and a quarter in height, and three eighths uh, this way. So, it's gonna be about inch and a quarter deep here, and three eighths, or I should say low, is gonna go inch and a quarter down towards the bottom. And then it's gonna be three eighths this way. And that's what it looks like in the end. There you go. All right, so next cut I'm gonna make, I'm gonna cut inch and a half from here so I can put um, the wall that comes on the side, I can put it inside. You don't have to do that. That's really just a cosmetic look. You can just put, once you have these, you can just put a piece of wood all the way to the end. I had highs like that. And you don't have to do this cut. This is just for me. But if you do decide to do it, basically, you're doing the same thing. Three eighths of an inch deep that way and inch and a half this way. So that, this is what a side looks like. Again, you don't need these if you don't want to. You can just uh, uh, do the side right for the, uh, on the outside. I just do it for the looks, that's all. So it's inch and a quarter this way, three eighths in. And if you do this one, it's inch and a half and three eighths in. Fairly simple. So look what it looks like. Like I said, I might have little cuts going over here, but that's okay. Makes no difference, it's for me. All right, so that's step two. Okay, next we're gonna do two more cuts. We're gonna cut the other sides to complete that body. So this is going to be 19 inches and one quarter in length. We're gonna need two of these. Perfect, so you got two of these 19 and a quarter. Okay, now we're just gonna lay these down. I wanted to show you what I'm talking about. And make sure everything fits. You don't wanna start screwing things until you check. Ah, believe me, I've learned that. Looks good. Let's put the other end on. And then, here we go. So that's what it's going to look like. So what I like to do is take a frame, put it in here. It fits how much room is up to you. You want to leave? I'll leave about 
a quarter of an inch maybe. Now, if you don't want to do the notches on the side, as I was saying, here, you can just simply put this right here, and that's just fine. There's no difference, basically. Um, however, you will need this a little longer, as you can see. We have this. So if you do this, this side is going to have to be longer. You can just measure that out. All right. So next, we're going to go ahead. Oh, we should probably pick up the frame. All right. As you can see, it fits fine. No problems. So next, we're going to go ahead and um, construct the bottom. Okay, since everything looks good, as you can see, everything fits the way you want it. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and um, screw this thing together um, and make it a box, basically. And then we're going to do the bottom after that. All right, so I'm using three inch deck screws, uh, basically. I'm not pre-drilling any holes or anything. I've never had an issue. It is possible it can crack, but I've never had an issue, so I'm sticking with this method. All right, let me put this together. All right, I've added three screws on each side, three, 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 and here we go. As you can see, these move just fine, all the way to the end. By the way, this takes 30, 30 deep frames. Um, you will have a little bit, maybe less than a quarter inch at the end. In my opinion, you need that because it's gonna, um, there's gonna be a lot of propolis and stuff on the beehive. And as you put the frames up, it's going to expand and give you a little bit of, um, you're going to need that little bit of room. So that's it. All right, in this next step, we're going to use a router to cut another notch quarter inch here. Um, that's where our um, boards are going to go on top. Um, just to sit in there so they don't fall out or anything. So I'm only going just a little bit in, uh, maybe three eighths in and a quarter inch down. So that's what it's going to look like. Uh, so. That way when we put the um, inner cover, the boards on top, they can just sit in there nice and uh, we can work with them. Now this one, you can also do on a, um, if you don't have a router, you can do it on a table saw. Just do the measurements and cut a notch here as well. Um, that's as easy as that. Just like we did the first one, just different measurements basically. There you go, just a little notch up top so you can keep the inner covers, the boards. Um, you can do this one too, you don't have to, it's really up to you. Just a little bit of space so we can put the boards in there. That's all. Step five, I think. I don't know, I lost count. So next we're gonna put a bottom on here. So it's just gonna be a piece of plywood. Basically just measure this entire thing, 21 and three eighths and then we've got 44 and seven eighths so what i do instead of measuring all this stuff line it up here when buying plywood you can buy a whole thing like four feet by eight feet that's up to you i just buy these uh two by four feet cost a little more but it's okay um, like I said, if you want to save um, and get it done cheaper, even with everything I buy, I still build one high under 70 bucks. All right, let's just line this up.
All right, next thing we're gonna do is um, secure this down to the bottom. You do wanna drill holes on uh, plywood. Uh, because it's gonna crack if you don't, depending on what kind of screws you use. And that's it, this one's secured to the bottom. And don't worry about any cracks, if you have little cracks or stuff, I might have a little bit here, actually I don't because that closed up with that extra screw. Uh, but these will close that up, don't even worry about that. Um, if you have a big gap, that's a difference. But just the little things, I wouldn't worry about too much. So let's flip this over. Bada boom, bada bum. All right, and that's looking good, if you ask me. So I can basically make this in under an hour, this whole bottom. I'm just going slow because I'm making a video, but and explaining things. And I just want to make sure I don't forget anything. All right, when you decide which side you want it to be the front, we're going to put some holes for the entrance. This is what I use. I use these. I love these, actually, because you can do some ventilation here. Um, reduce it to this, you can even reduce this entrance here. So I'm definitely sticking with these and they're so easy to do. So basically what I do, you go approximately, you can measure this, it's up to you. Uh, so what you would do is go two inches up, I don't even go that much honestly, I go about an inch and a half and six inches from this side, we'll move a little bit. And then you drill a hole. So you put a little, put it like this here, put a little screw here. So when you need to minimize it, you can do that. You can minimize it this way, or just give them ventilation. It's up to you. Simple, very simple and effective, in my opinion. All right, part one is pretty much it. The next part coming up is going to be the top, the, the cover and the inner boards.